quirky half of a wrapped gumball is here because today we're going to play another quirky game and that quirky game is Beanie Bopper for your Atari 2600. Let's go ahead and take Beanie Bopper, pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Beanie Bopper was published by 20th Century Fox and according to randomterrain.com was probably released in October of 1982. It was programmed by Grady Ward, and it may have been the only game he programmed. The back of the box says the following. Better keep an eye out, those meanie beanies are buzzing the city again. There's just one way to stop them. Bring out the amazing one-eyed Beanie Bopper. Go ahead, take control of Beanie Bopper's rapid fire stun gun and bop those beanies before they put your eye out. Be ready for plenty of action. Beanie Bopping will keep you hopping. Beanie Bopper is an action game for one player only with two game modes one where the enemies bounce off the objects, and one where they can pass through objects. The color black and white switch can be used to pause the game. The controls are fairly straightforward. Move in with the joystick and either holding down the button for continuous fire or single presses for long range shots. Personally, I enjoyed the continuous fire better. Beanies appear on screen, up to two at a time. Shooting one will stun it, but the screen is constantly pushing things down. If a stunned beanie hits the bottom, an unstunned beanie will appear on top. If you touch a stunned beanie, bopping it, a bonus object will appear that can be collected for bonus points. You can stun these objects, but they don't have to be stunned to be collected. If you collect a bonus object, a new object will appear on top. If a bonus object touches the bottom, a new beanie will appear on top. If you stun and bop four beanies in a row without losing a life, you will earn an extra life up to three in reserve and orange eyes will appear that can be collected and replaced like bonus objects. But if they touch the bottom, they will turn into a beanie right on the spot. Scoring wise, you get 20 points for stunning beanies or bonus objects, 100 points for stunning an orange eye, 100 points plus the level number for bopping a stunned beanie, 100 to 490 points for capturing a bonus item, depending on the level, and twice the bonus object value for capturing an orange eye. You start at level zero. You go to level one at 1,000 points, level two at 3,000 points, level three at 5,000 points, level four at 10,000 points, level five at 20,000 points, level six at 30,000 points, and level seven at 50,000 points. As the levels increase, so does the speed and some point values as mentioned above. The bonus objects will also change with some levels, starting with bombs, then airplanes, then parachuters, then people, and finally faces. Being touched by an unstunned beanie will cost you a life. Lose all of your lives and your game is over. Graphically speaking, there's not much to the background, but the other characters and items look good by 2600 standards. I also like how your character melts when you lose a life. The sounds are limited, but good. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating if released today. Currently at PriceChine.com, the game has a value of $8 loose, $82 complete, and $124 new. So what did I think of Beanie Bopper for the Atari 2600? It's simple, but I like it. The action with rapid fire shooting gives me some nice Robotron vibes. The scrolling play field keeps things moving and the difficulty ramps up nicely. In a way, it's a solid typical 2600 game from this era where you have single screen action that is simple to pick up and play and fun in short bursts. It may not be the best game on the system, but it would easily make a great addition to most 2600 collections. So where am I gonna rank Beanie Bopper? I'm looking in my current top 100 among some other games I enjoy. I do like Ghostbusters more at 84, but I will put this over Raft Rider at 85. So out of the 257 games that now ranked for the Atari 2600, Beanie Bopper is bopping into the 85 position. Beanie Bopper offers some quirky and simple fun for the 2600. But that's just what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Support the show at patreon.com slash gamer and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time in the next episode of the No Swear Gamer. Take care and watch out for crazy sentient beanies.